For families in this Israeli kibbutz, weaning themselves off the national power grid and moving to renewable power is an important task, not only for their day-to-day -day needs, but also for the needs of future generations. It feels very good that I can use um, renewable energy instead of uh, burning uh, fossil fuel. Um, I think that's, that's the future. I think that's what my son would like me to do, to wash him with water that were, were heated with the energy of the sun. And I think that's the right thing to do. To ensure the move pays off, a new system of solar panels, one that creates both electricity and hot water, is being installed. In the past, if you had uh, photovoltaic cells on the roof of your house, yes, you were uh, getting, generating electricity, but the heat that was essentially wasted, that was absorbed by those cells and rejected, was going back to the atmosphere. You weren't making use of it. The solar upgrade is expected to save the kibbutz about $95,000 a year, which would then be invested back into the community. This uh, um, solar field in, in my back would return the investment which the kibbutz has invested into it in approximately five years. More than this, this machine here, since it's caught generating electricity and heat, would save approximately 40,000 liters of heating oil per year. About 80 homes have been connected to the solar field, with 180 others scheduled to be connected in the near future. Yeah. Diane 12, Kepley, 12, 15, The Associated 12, Press.